Hi, this is Stephen Sylvester from EDI Modesto UK with a short tip and trick showing you how you can run ANSYS Fluent from a journal in the ANSYS cloud. Now this version of Fluent is 2020 R2. Um, we'll presume that you've installed the ANSYS cloud ACT extension so you have this window over to the right which lets you submit jobs. That's very easy to do so, we can just click the new job button and we can enter the details of the job in these fields here. So job name, um, we can specify the region and the configuration of the cluster and submit that to the cloud and that will download the results automatically after completion. Now for standalone cases that works very well but oftentimes when we run ANSYS Fluent we like to run it in batch using a journal. So it runs in the background and all of the commands are automated and, and stored in that journal file. And it's great to be able to do that on the ANSYS cloud as well. You could, for example, write a journal that automates the running of five, 10, 20 different cases. Um, you could write a journal that makes modifications to those cases as they're running. So it's a useful thing to be able to do. In this case, I have a, a very simple journal here. Um, Typically, these are the kind of things that you might want to automate. So it's reading in a case file, initializing, iterating, and writing that case data file out. Then it's making a change to a boundary condition here. Again, initializing, iterating on the new case and writing that out. Um, quite a simple example, but you can appreciate that many journals that we write uh, can automate um, much more complex procedures than this example here. So if I go back to the window here, when we've installed the ANSYS cloud extension, we also install the ANSYS command line interface, which is the command that you need to enter into a command prompt to get it to submit the job into the cloud and run according to a journal. So in my command prompt here, I've CD'd into the, the, local, uh, the local directory and I can just enter the full command and we'll just go through these entries individually. The first one is the command line interface, so that's what sets the whole thing off. We then instruct it to run Fluent. Um, we then specify a job name. We then specify the cluster configuration. So in this case, the region is West Europe and we're using the small cluster, uh, Fluids 2020R2. We then specify the journal name, so this journal should be in the, the working directory along with the case file. We then specify version 2020R2. Uh, this entry here, this instructs the script to wait until the Fluent job has finished and it will also print progress into the command window directly. Lastly then, simply specify the local directory where you want the results of that batch run to be downloaded. Now at this stage we can hit the enter key and that will submit that journal driven process to the cloud. So you see the ANSYS cloud command line interface has started here. So the first thing that's going to do is to upload the files to the cloud. And I'm logged into the cloud as well. So I can see as that uploads, you see the transfer agent has come up here and there's my job and this is running. So that'll take a, a few moments to complete. Um, we'll come back in a few minutes when that job's finished. Okay, so after a few minutes, the job is complete and you can see in the cloud dashboard here that uh, all of the tasks have been completed successfully. So the upload, the compute, and then the download of the uh, files to my local machine. Now I can just check my folder here. You see I have case one, case dat, and case two, case and the dat file there. So that's the output of my journal exactly as I wanted it. There are additional uh, reporting files that the cloud and Fluent produces as it goes through the process. So now we can see how easy it is to run ANSYS Fluent in the cloud using a journal file. And if you do need any additional information, these uh, CLI commands are fully documented um, in the cloud documentation. So if you dig around in there, you will find them and you can simply uh, copy and paste this command to save you a little bit of typing. Hope you found this tip and trick useful. Thanks for watching.